What what happened here? Okay, so this is what a lot of people don't know. Okay, so the game was basically over. You know, at that point, every the whole league knew we were the best team in the league that year. We had the best record, and this game was our test to see where we were. You know, they were one of the best teams at the time. So we went there and blew them out. We went in by 15 with like 45 seconds left. And um, the previous year, they played in the Eastern Conference Finals. So it was already a rivalry there that I had no idea about. Jamal Tinsley and Ron Artesa having a conversation at the free throw line. I'm not knowing Ron is thinking about returning a foul to Ben from last year's playoffs. If I would have known that, I would have stopped him. We all know Ron wasn't in his right mind. Mm -hmm. He did. He didn't need a battery in his back to do something stupid. He did that on. His, he did that on his own. So he didn't need a battery in his back. But Jamal Tinsley put a battery pack in his back and told him, like, if you want to get this foul that you owe him from last year, why get it? The dumbest thing to tell him where a foul's been. I'm guarding Ben. I let him score. Clock, let the clock run out. I just let Ben walk to the basket. Let it score. Let the clock run. He comes from out of nowhere and take Ben out the air. This is what people don't know. A couple of days before that, I think Ben had just lost his mom. So he can't, he wasn't even supposed to play that game. He showed up at the game. So I know he wasn't in his right mind. I mean, losing my, if I lose my mom, I'd probably be. And Ben didn't expect it. Next thing you know, Ben run up to Ron and push his head out to the parking lot. So his body's still staying here, but his head is in the parking lot. By that time, we're just trying to calm Ron down because we're trying to get out of there. We won the game. Let's get out of here, get this win. And to Ron's credit, we never seen Ron calm down or relax like that. So he did it. And as soon as he calmed down, a beer came and hit him dead in the face. He took Ben Wallace throwing all kind of stuff at him. He took people saying stuff to him. But when the beer came down his face, he just lost it. Me personally, I couldn't take uh, y'all laugh. We get in the locker room. And we're sitting there. My legs are scratched up from hopping over the bleachers. Ron's sitting there calming down. His first question to me, mm -hmm. do you think we're going to get in trouble? <laughs> <laughs> you know my reply? <laughs> you lucky we have a job. <laughs> mm. He asked me that, and we all, the whole locker room was like, no, Ron. I, you serious? <laughs> Listening to Steven Jackson break down the Malice in the Palace fight and the fact that it was over a foul <laughs> from the previous season, Blows my mind. Blows my mind. Like It's crazy that this didn't come out sooner or people just ignored it. But the fact that Ryan was getting revenge for something that happened last year on Ben Wallace and it turned out to be something else blew my mind. Because like he said, guys, the Pacers were the number one team in the NBA. The way that Rick Carlisle was coaching up that team and the way the pieces came together, Artest was an MVP candidate. That team was going to go to the finals. They were going to go to the finals the way they were playing. Everything was locked down. Top to bottom, bench, everybody was playing 100% great. Their defense was awesome. Everything was great. So that spur of the moment fight, which came, which really got instigated from old school status. Old school, old school crazy. A lot of people don't understand this. Back in the days... <laughs> Especially in the NBA, retaliation was uh, a commonplace thing. You know, if you hurt, hit somebody and, and close line them in the lane, they're going to think about that for the next game, the next season. It's, it's just always going to be in their head. Every time they see you, they're going to they're gonna want to come, come and inflict some pain on you. And that's the same thing with pickup back in the day. Like back in the day, when you play pickup with certain people, you already knew. If you hit him with a hard foul, like just just get ready to fight. Like and you, every time he sees you on the court, he gonna hit you with an elbow, hit you, and you know they gonna. The number one phrase that I, I used to remember is, "Oh, that's how we playing today." Simple fact that the <laughs> Indiana Pacers season got derailed over Ron Artest going crazy about something that happened the year before blows my mind. Stephen Jackson said he would not have gone and fought in the stands if he knew that it was all about a foul from the year before in the playoffs. I regret how we handle it. I don't regret defending my teammate. Mm -hmm. I don't regret that. I regret going in the stands and punching fans. I regret that totally. Especially regret losing $3 million. And I can't blame him. I can't blame Steve for having that notion. Now, the whole beer throwing incident, like I said before, I'm on the player side about that. The NBA, they don't have any um, restrictions or um, 
any kind of security that at that time, you know, that was blocking off the fans and the players. And basketball is the only sport that you could really sit on right on top of the players. Football, soccer, baseball, you're there's some kind of guardrail that's really blocking you off so you can't get on the court. That day when that fan threw the threw the beer, hey, whoever threw that beer and he he got away. He didn't even get the ass what he was supposed to get. Somebody else next to him got it because he ran or whatever the case is. People were pointing at the wrong person. But him who instigated that, he deserved, if he did get a hit, he deserved it. Any fan that jumped on that court trying to fight a guy that's 6'10", 6'6", you deserve the ass woman too. Like, you, you don't jump on the court trying to fight, fight a player. Like, first things first, there's, the hunt, there's a thousand, tens of thousands of fans. There's only 15 players. You think they're not going to try to defend themselves? And this is not the only thing that fans do. They spin on players. They throw uh, their drinks on players. They throw a beer on players. So I don't blame my test. But the fact that this was over a, a playoff foul between him and, and Ben Wallace. And then a key thing, which I don't think many people knew, Ben Wallace's mother had uh, passed away, you know, previously. A family member passed away, like, the week before. So he was on, he was on, he was on 10 already. So all of that mixed in, it was like, honestly speaking, that had to be one of the most like coincidental, crazy, strange things that ever happened in the NBA because this is the first time Ron Artest didn't want to fight somebody in, 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 NBA, in the NBA. First time he backed down, he was he's sitting on the stands or whatever. Ben Wallace was never like a guy to really be fighting people. So, you know, the loss of the loved one really instigated that that uh, issue between him and Artest. Then you think about this. Think about this. Ron Artest is thinking about a foul from the playoffs last the year prior. They, I didn't even think about that. You know what I'm saying? Because when this fight occurred, I'm, I'm like... High school. I'm like middle school, high school type time. I didn't watch that playoffs the year before because, you know, I don't even, most likely, you know, in middle school, you're not watching every playoff game or whatever the case is. But for this to trickle down from something that happened the year before, it just goes to show you how competitive, how crazy, how maniacal guys were. You know what I'm saying? Like, you saw this in the Magic Johnson and Isaiah Thomas interview where Magic said, you know, you come in that lane, we boys, but I'm laying you on your ass. And that's how it used to be. And if they met again in the next year, even just a regular season game, Isaiah would try to knock him down as well. So that within itself is crazy. But just to hear the genesis of the story from Steven Jackson is, is crazy. And the fact that he put his career on the line to – to back somebody, which we all knew that, you know, the beer, you know, have your boys back over beer. But if he knew in the, his mind that this guy went off over a foul from the year before, all bets would have been off. All bets would have absolutely been off. It's crazy. Who's Junction or Who's Me's Hoopla? Like, comment, subscribe.